Hello everyone, and welcome back to another SparkToos tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to register and manage a domain purchased through SparkToast. To start, simply navigate to sparktoast.com, click Order at the top, and finally click Register a New Domain. This page is where you will be able to search for an available domain. For this tutorial, we'll use sparked-media.com. Just complete the captcha, and finally, click Search. It looks like our domain is available for purchase, so we'll add it to our cart. If your desired domain is unavailable, you can browse a different top-level domain, a TLD, or choose from the selection of suggested domains below. Once you've added your desired domain to your cart, simply press Check Out. The checkout screen has a few extra options you may be interested in. If you're looking to host a website with your domain, this is the perfect time to add a web hosting plan. Simply click on the red Click to Add link to browse our selection of web hosting plans. For this tutorial, we will select the Starter US plan. Select Order Now, and choose the domain that you added to your cart earlier. We will now have the opportunity to configure our web hosting plan. Among the various options available, you can choose your billing cycle length, Nameless V1 or V2 install, SSH access, Zenfaro install, and lastly, a Tebex free trial. All add-ons besides SSH access are billed as a one-time charge, SSH access being billed as a monthly fee. Once you've chosen your desired add-ons, simply press Continue. Now back to our domain configuration. You can now see that our domain is labeled as Has Hosting, meaning we have successfully linked a web hosting plan to our domain. The last option on this page is the DNS management add-on. This add-on is offered 100% free of charge and grants you the ability to add custom DNS records to your domain. This add-on can be added at any time after purchase if ever needed in the future. Please note, if you purchased a web hosting plan, this add-on is not necessary since all of the DNS records will need to be added through the cPanel interface itself. Finally, press continue to advance to checkout. Here you will see an overview of your cart We'll simply press checkout to finalize our purchase. Simply select your payment method, agree to the terms and conditions, and click complete order. You've now successfully purchased a domain with a web hosting plan. In some cases, you may need to manually update the name servers connected to your domain. To do this, simply navigate to the domain section in your client account and click the wrench on the far right of your domain. Here, you will see an overview of your domain as well as some important billing information. Next. Navigate to the Manage tab on the left-hand side of the page and select Name Servers. Finally, select Use Custom Name Servers and enter your desired name server addresses. If you purchased a web hosting plan from SparkToast, these addresses will be emailed to you following your purchase. Please note you may receive an email from ICANN asking to verify contact information for your domain, but not to worry, this is standard procedure with any domain. You can now navigate to My Services from within the client area and select your newly purchased web hosting plan. You can view some basic information on this page, as well as some cPanel shortcuts. You may also press Login to cPanel on the left-hand side. cPanel has many customization options to choose from. For this tutorial, I will just be uploading a very basic website. I'll navigate to the File Manager here in cPanel and locate the public underscore HTML folder. This directory is where you will upload all of your website files. I'll quickly upload mine. Once your files are uploaded, make sure your main website file is named index, and then you can simply navigate to your domain to view your website. And that's all there is to it. We hope that this tutorial helps and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks again for choosing SparkToast. Bye-bye.